This product is legal in California for racing vehicles that shall never be operated upon a public highway. AEM holds no responsibility for any engine damage that results from the misuse of this product. The purpose of this video is to familiarize you with the operation of the TrueBoost Boost Controller Gauge. It is presumed that you have already correctly installed the system and that it's fully functioning. Before continuing, there is one quick installation note. If you're not using the optional orange or gray wires for scramble boost or the warning light functions, do not simply connect them to ground. If they are not being used, they do not need to be connected anywhere at all. Insulate the bare ends of the wire and tie them up out of the way. The TrueBoost can be configured in two ways. One for dual port wastegates, which are external type, and another for single port wastegates, which are usually internal type. An external dual port wastegate uses the solenoid to apply pressure to the top side of the wastegate diaphragm in order to create higher boost pressures. An internal single port wastegate uses the solenoid to reduce the amount of pressure the wastegate actuator receives, thereby delaying its opening and increasing boost. The true boost utilizes a duty cycle setting in order to control the boost solenoid. Duty cycle is simply a comparison of a device's on time versus its off time. For example, a duty cycle of 50% means the device is on half the time and off half the time. A duty cycle of 10% means the device is on 10% of the time and off 90% of the time. A duty cycle of 80% means the device is on 80% of the time and off 20% of the time. A duty cycle of 0% means the device is fully off, and a duty cycle of 100% means the device is fully on. The true boost solenoid is pulsed in order to control the pressure going to the wastegate. With either an internal or external wastegate, a higher duty cycle results in a higher boost pressure. The AMB settings are displayed as duty cycle and not desired boost pressure. When you adjust your true boost settings, you change the duty cycle at which the solenoid is operated. The following procedure will demonstrate how to configure the TrueBoost gauge. To adjust the TrueBoost options, you need to enter the program mode. To do this, you hold down both buttons for two seconds and then release them. The gauge will now show PRG for program mode. Hold down both buttons again for two seconds and then release them to move to the first option. The gauge now shows UNI for display units. Using the left and right buttons, select the desired display units. You can choose from PSI, BAR, or KPA. Once you've made your selection, press both buttons momentarily to move on to the next option. The gauge now shows SCB for Scramble Boost. Scramble Boost is essentially a C setting used to increase or decrease boost for a short period of time. Using the left and right buttons, you can set the duty cycle to be used during Scramble Boost. Press both buttons momentarily to move on to the next option. The gauge now shows SCR for Scramble Boost duration. Using the left and right buttons, you can increase or decrease the amount of time that Scramble Boost is activated when the trigger is grounded. Press both buttons momentarily to move on to the next option. The gauge now shows SEN for pressure sensor. Using the left and right buttons, select I for internal sensor or E for external sensor. The internal sensor is for boost pressures between 1 and 29 PSIG. The external sensor, part number 30-4351, is required for boost pressures between 1 and 50 PSIG. Once you've made your selection, press both buttons momentarily to move on to the next option. The gauge now shows ALA for alarm. Use the left and right buttons to select the boost level where you'd like the alarm to activate. When the alarm activates, the LEDs will flash yellow. There is also an overboost protection function where the LEDs will flash red and the solenoid shuts off, reducing boost down to the wastegate spring pressure. Once you've made your selection, press both buttons momentarily to move on to the next option. The gauge now shows SPR for spring pressure.
The spring pressure setting is the boost level where the wastegate cracks or first begins to open. Use the left and right buttons to select the boost level where you'd like the wastegate to start opening. At boost pressures below the setting, the true boost holds the boost control solenoid open, which allows the turbo to spool up quickly. If you know your wastegate spring pressure, make your spring pressure setting about 3 psi less than this value. If you don't know your wastegate spring pressure, start with a conservative value of 5 psi or less. Adjusting the spring pressure setting helps to control boost spikes and turbo spool time. Once you've made your selection, press both buttons momentarily to move on to the next option. The gauge now shows FUL for bar graph full scale. Use the left and right buttons to select the maximum scale value of the sweeping LED display. The LEDs light up in 24 increments. Once you've made your selection, press both buttons momentarily to move on to the next option. The gauge now shows A and its current duty cycle setting. After a moment, the gauge will show the current manifold pressure. Use the left and right buttons to select the desired boost solenoid duty cycle. When using the true boost for the first time, start with a low duty cycle like 10% and then work your way up in small increments until you achieve your desired boost level. Pressing both buttons momentarily will move you into setting B, which is adjusted the same way as setting A. The gauge now shows B and its current duty cycle setting. Adjust mode B the same way you would adjust mode A. Use the left and right buttons to select the desired boost solenoid duty cycle. Pressing both buttons momentarily again will exit the program mode and the display will show RUN for the run mode. You're now ready to start adjusting your true boost settings to achieve your desired boost level. Please see additional true boost videos for further details on specific tuning procedures.